everybody. Crypto String here. This evening, talk about Solana. Obviously, making huge waves, smashing through the top 10, now ranked number eight. Market cap over 33 billion, where it's all time high today $128, currently $111. Doing absolutely fantastic. So, I mentioned this project before, oh, about two and a half years ago. When it was based in stages of launch, and there was rumours that Coinbase were looking into the project. I stayed at the time; it was a really good, interesting project. At the time, I didn't get a bag, a huge bag like I should have done. As hindsight's a beautiful thing, but you know, looking into it now, you can see the huge potential. We're reading up on Solana, various projects. We'll talk about in a minute. There's a lot going on within their ecosystem, so I'm really, you know, I do talk about Cardano a lot. Appreciate that. I also talk about Polkadot. I spoke about the projects built, on, built being built on that, but. Now in the top 10, you think we've got Binance Smart Chain, we've got Polkadot, Solana, Cardano, all competing for that number two slot of Ethereum. Now, as I said many times before, these third generation cryptos have huge potential to overtake Ethereum because of their gas fees, being second generation, the technology, God knows when Ethereum 2.0 is coming out. It's like a massive competition who's going to get to number two. I personally believe that Cardano will make it, as I've stated many times before, but the lights of Solana and Polkadot are going to certainly stay in the top 10 for a long time, I believe. Smart contracts, brand new technology, there's so much potential to go parabolic. It's never financial advice throughout the video, it's entirely up to you. Talk about some different projects built on Solana in a minute, but absolutely wonderful how they're developing. What I found on their website, though, is really interesting. They, if you just scroll through all the different 400 projects now related to Solana, you go through it, it's just so much. Um, you sort of go DeFi 100 projects, you know, and you got the NFTs 22. We talk about NFTs a lot. Now, we spoke a lot over eight months now. Many projects being built on Solana. Now, NFTs are making huge waves. I spoke about before the hype. I believe they had longevity, and I think we're really seeing it now. I think CryptoPunks is the one where it's taking it to the massive mainstream adoption. When you think people are paying hundreds of thousands of dollars for a CryptoPunk, which in reality, let's be honest, is nothing much to look at. And then when Visa, Spend one hundred and fifty thousand dollars on a NFT from CryptoPunk. You know NFTs are for longevity, and it's a huge market. You know OpenSea. I've seen over a billion dollars transactions per week. Absolutely incredible what's going on NFT. Now the amount of projects being built on Solana, as I say, gives me a lot of potential. Now I'll go through four projects in a minute established on Solana, but as you can see. There is so many on their website. It's obviously you can't research all of them, but there's certainly literally about 20. I briefly had a look through. I spent a few hours the other day going through it. Some look really interesting. Now, so I'm going to mention four, but there's many others I'm looking into. Um, many, many others. This one looked good, for instance, Solana Art. It's the first NFT marketplace on Solana. Now, that to me looks really interesting. But as I say, there was a good 20 that I really am going to be doing further research on. I think I really need to sort of get my head around all the Solana ecosystem and the projects out there because there's some real low cap, wonderful gems out there. I'm positive of that. So let's carry on with that now. Docs.solana.com is a link on Solana.com. You can actually see different parts of it. Program library, the develop, run a validator node, create an SPL token, similar, basically equivalent of an ERC20. So there's so much potential here. Now, also, I found really interesting was a tweet the other day from Charles Hodgkinson, and he actually covered it on his AMA yesterday, where he sent this tweet. He goes, at Solana, you guys seem to be making waves. Congratulations. Where can I learn more? Now, he got a response where, hey, DMs are open. Now, he mentioned his AMA. He's actually been talking with the Solana team. They're not, you know, there's no rumors or confirmation they're going to have sort of some collaboration or partnerships, but there's a lot of potential if they do have some sort of type. It's excellent technology. It's great they're actually talking and not this sort of bitter rivalry that we've had before with projects. It's great. And Charles stayed on his AMA again. He said, you know, let's find out about other people's systems. Let's talk. You know, why do we have to make it a big secret? So it's really great to see. So with so much smart contract competition now, and they're all getting the top 10, it's absolutely fascinating how we go over the next sort of six months, year. You know, you usually see what in a year other smart contracts will get near the top 10. You know, things like Tezos, that's dropped massively down. It's just back in the top 30. I thought that was going to have a massive year. But it's really struggled, just shows the competition out there. But when you actually go through all the different projects on here, now as I say, the first one I come across was Radium, company $12.19, market cap is at 802 million, ranked 117, getting on many exchanges, Binance Gate, um, BKX, MEXC. 
back in May, we had that all-time high of $16.13, but in July, last month, it was $2.46. Absolutely incredible. So it's also a massive pump now. Now, I really like this project. It's a D DeFi basic application. It works as an on-chain order book, an AMM, automated market maker, to power the evolution of DeFi. But what I did like, unlike many other sort of AMM platforms, obviously there's many out there, Radium provides on-chain liquidity to a central limit order book. So basically that means that all the users and the liquidity pools of Radium can access the order flow and liquidity of the entire Serum ecosystem and the other way around. We'll talk about Serum in a minute. So the fact you, similar to what we talked about VYFI the other day, you know, you get these pools, you incentivize to get your Ray rewards. So you get them as rewards for using their farming, okay? So Radium, again, looks like it's got a lot of potential. But again, as you know, only time will tell. As you know, there's no every guarantee with any of these. It's such a competitive market. It's unbelievable. Next one was Serum itself. Basically a decentralized exchange of DEX. $8.59. Ranked 162 with a market cap $428 million. Now, its all-time high was actually $12.98. This time last year, it was only $0.10. Cents. Again, it's on Binance. It's on Gate, it's on Huobi, OKX, Polynex. So I really, this is another project that looks really good for longevity. Quite established, we think it's ranked 162. Um, it's totally permissionless. Obviously, it's built on Solana, obviously, and it offers sub-second trading and settlement because it's got its on-chain order book and extremely low gas fees, which is obviously the main part of smart contracts and they develop the ecosystem to compete with Ethereum. Obviously, their gas fees are horrendous and these projects have got to be the cheapest, the fastest, the best, you know. That's how they're all going to compete and be the one that sticks out amongst the rest, isn't it? Let's be honest. So, Serum, again, with that DEX, we've talked about many DEXs before, this one is certainly to keep you right. Now, the only downside to it was the circulating supply is really low. The total supply, and you look at the max supply, is a lot um, circulating so supply is only sort of 50 million total supply is 161 million but the max supply could actually be 10 billion so you've got to be careful that. i don't know when they're going to release the rest so just time will tell that's purely you know just have to see how it basically develops um so the next project i want to talk about is oxygen now this one is ranked 169 um, $1.99, actually $2.16 in the last 24 hours. Mark cap's over $400 million. Again, the circulating supply is relatively low. That's only sort of downside to it. You know, basically $202 million in the total supply. You know, you think about that's a lot, really. So that's the only sort of bad. It's basically $10 billion. So again, there's not much supply out there. Always talk about supply. It's quite disappointing when you get not like out there. I don't know if they're going to release it. But again... These, to me, these projects are longevity. Not all will succeed. You've got to do your own research. I just want to take some punt on some Solana projects, basically, but I say my sole focus over the next week or so is to find some Solana low-cap gems that I'm going to invest in, which are brand new, just getting developed, got a huge potential, excellent roadmap, great team. You know the spill. That's what we always do, don't we? But Oxygen, it's basically a DeFi prime brokerage protocol. It's built to support hundreds of of millions of people in the future. They were very, very ambitious. Basically, the platform helps its users to hold of digital assets. With it, you can generate liquidity, you earn your yield. Many companies do this now, don't we talk about liquidity, earning the yields, borrow assets to go short, get trading leverage. I've never done like doing trading leverage myself. So there's a lot on there. But first through multiple use of the same collateral auction enables you to generate yield on your portfolio through lending out your assets and borrowing other assets at the same time. So that's really interesting. Um, but auction program is basically all the book base, and that gives a fair price for borrowing lend at all times. Now, that is a highly competitive market, as we know. Any sort of borrowing and lending, so many projects are doing it now. It's it's incredible. So, but oxygen, it's actually strange. On March the sixteenth this year, it had its all time low, and its all time high. It reached it was lower than one dollar twenty four, but it reached four dollars sixteen on the same day. Um, it's on quite a few exchanges: Sendex, Gate, and Hotbit. Again, to see how they develop, but I really do like this project. Uh, I've sort of gone a bit, you know, I've sort of just got into these projects. I've been quite stagnant lately getting involved with new projects. I've just been holding, taking profits, set my price targets, because obviously in this ball run, we've got to take profits. That's just my personal opinion. As I stated before, I learned the hard way in 2018. We had the massive market crash, all coins dropping 90 95%. And I swore to myself, basically, when we had the next bull market, I would set price targets and take profit. Okay, 
Some I'll just hold into the next bear market, if there is such a thing, who knows, with the mainstream adoption, if we'll have a big bear market, you know, we'll get massive drops, who knows? Only time will tell. But anyway, getting back to this, the next one I was going to look at, which I haven't actually, I've literally just been trying to get today, but it's on an exchange I'm not on. It's on Serum, we spoke about for the decks, and it's also on Orca itself. Now, I'm just trying to get registered on there to actually get some Orca. It's $4.47, Marcap. Could be a possibly low cap gem, only 23 million. It's ranked 772. So it's probably because it's not on many exchanges. That's its sort of big drawback. Let's be honest. It's it's, um, it's another one where it's a, another DEX basically built on Solana. Obviously, it's focused on user friendliness. Now, it's obviously a lot of competition with DEXs out there. There's so many. And this is obviously competing with the likes of Serum because it's another DEX. And basically, what all cars reading on their site, they want to provide like a more sort of straightforward. Uh, easy to use experience for people who want to trade on Solana. Um, the fair price indicator they've got is created to solve one of the most significant pain points of a DeFi user to determine whether a given pool currently offers a fair price. Um, it's not just an AMM automated market maker. Each time you input a trade, it offers the best available rate for either Orca or Serum Swaps liquidity pools. Again, that's quite interesting. So, again, time will tell. I think, say, with this project, as I said, it needs to get on some big exchanges, then who knows where the price will go. It's impossible to say. I say we're not far off its all-time high now. Um, it actually reached its all-time high, I think it was early yesterday, but I thought at one point today, I was looking at the sort of trade in the markets, I thought it was actually going to go higher than its all-time high before, but its all-time high was actually, say, yesterday morning. With $4.47, who knows where this will go, as I say, it just needs to get on some big exchanges. So, going back to Solana... Today, rank number eight, doing absolutely fantastic. Who knows where it would be? We, you know, it's higher than Polkadot now. Who'd have thought that, you know? Again, this time will tell. I think this bull market is really showing the high-quality projects and getting a lot of the dross, let's be honest. A lot of the, um, the first, second-generation cryptos are really struggling. The competition is just so damn fierce. Let's see. As I say, I'll be carrying out a lot of research into other Solana projects. You know, just as I say, go on their site and you just have to look at all those. You know, just scroll through all that. There's a lot to research. A lot of them have little significance or interest to me, but a lot of them, just a brief overlook, look very, very interesting. Um, I guess it's just time will tell, really. And I'll certainly keep everyone updated. Let's find some low cap gems. Take a chance. That's what I'll be doing. Entirely up to you. You've got to do your own research. And then we'll do an update later on to see how they're getting on. But I'm I'm amazed how many projects are built on Solana and their potential. So thanks very much, guys. As usual, when you want to help, email me, infocryptostrang.com, all social media links below. be great to hear other people who know about some Solana projects and possible low-cap gems. I'd love to hear from you. Please comment below. It'd be absolutely fantastic. Have a wonderful evening. Cheers now. Bye.